Speed racing is an exhausting sport, and it takes years of practice and exercise to perform on the global platform. Racetracks have seen greats like Carl Lewis, Usain Bolt, and Johan Blake. Going back to 2022, sprinters and other athletes alike are pushing the limits. And in this video, we'll take a look at some of the fastest people in the world. Make sure you stick with me to the end of the video. Without any further delay, let's get into it. Starting off the list of our top 10 fastest people in the world, we have Nesta Carter. Nesta is one the most well-known American runners in the field of sports. He was born in October 1985 and is currently the world's seventh fastest runner in the world in 2022. Initially, his best personal record was 9.91. Nesta Carter later set a personal best when he ran a 100-meter sprint in 9.78 seconds in Rieti, Italy. Carter was also a member of the team that breached the 9.8-second barrier. In the 100-meter events, however, he was beaten. In his career, the American-born runner's best year was 2006 when he had his first ever best result. Carter's present situation is unfortunate as he is fighting a steroid lawsuit that is costing him a lot of money. Our next fastest guy in the world is Cristiano Ronaldo. Meet the fastest soccer player in the world. Ronaldo is one of the greatest soccer players of all time and in no small part due to his breakneck speed. Ronaldo reached the highest top speed in the 2018 World Cup in Russia at 38.6 kilometers per hour while playing Spain in a 3-3 tie. Keep in mind, Ronaldo did this while trying trying to time his run to coincide with a pass from a teammate as he entered the box. He didn't run in a straight line and he was 32 years old at the time. The fastest person in the world comes in all shapes, sizes and ages. To put this run in perspective, in the 2018 World Cup, Luis Advincula, who's 28, came closest at 33.8 kilometers per hour. Belgium striker Romelu Lukaku, 25, hit 32.8 kilometers per hour and Ronaldo's chief competitor for best soccer player in the world Lionel Messi was clocked at a top speed of only 25 kilometers per hour. No offense, Messi fans, but I think he needs to catch up. The next guy on our list is Usain Bolt. Permit me to say that the gold standard in speed is Usain Bolt. Even his name suggests he was predestined to become widely considered the fastest sprinter in the world, if not the fastest person in the world. Bolt was born in Jamaica in 1986 and dreamed of being a soccer star. However, his speed soon became his calling card when he shattered while Densia Primary's 100-meter dash at the age of 12. In high school, coaches Dwayne Jarrett and Pablo McNeil pushed Bolt to focus on running, and he won his first high school championships medal in 2001. The rest, as they say, was history. Bolt went on to set Olympic records in the 100 meters at 9.58 seconds, the 200 meters in 19.19, and was on the 4x100 meters relay team that broke 37 seconds mark at 36.84. His 100-meter record time stands to this day. He retired after the 2017 World Championships and is generally considered the greatest sprinter of all time. In 2009, between the 60 and 80 meter mark of the 100 meters sprint, Bolt was clocked at 27.8 miles per hour, the fastest foot speed on record. Next up, Asafa Powell. Until Usain Bolt stepped out to claim the status of the world's fastest runner, Asafa Powell, a Jamaican native, held the title. It's not surprising to have him on the list given that he's won four World Championship gold medals in the 100 meters and several other medals. Asafa is one of the fastest runners in the world in 2022. Powell held the world record as the first athlete to complete the 100 meter sprint in 9.77 seconds for three years, from 2005 to 2008. On this world record, though, he has been defeated. In September 2008, he achieved a new personal record when he ran the 100 meter dash in 9.72 seconds in a competition held in Switzerland. Then there's Tyson Gay. Tyson Gay, who was born in in the United States is reportedly ranked second among the fastest runners in the world in 2022. When he ran a 200 meter run in 19.58 seconds, he became the world's second fastest sprinter. He also ran a 100 meter sprint in 9.69 seconds, which added to his already impressive resume. His incredible victory in becoming the first athlete to run the 100 meter in under 10 seconds, the 200 meter in under 20 seconds, and the 400 meter in under 45 seconds will go down in history. The next cheetah in our list is Johan Blake. Johan Blake, dubbed the Beast, is a well-known runner who appears on nearly every list of the world's fastest runners. In fact, he is widely regarded as the world's third fastest runner in the world in 2022, having run a 100-meter sprint in 9.69 seconds, the same time as Tyson Gay. Blake's best 100-meter sprint time was 9.69 seconds during his career. He became the second fastest runner in history at the race, which took place in Switzerland. He was the first man to complete 
complete the race within 10 seconds at the age of 19. The Jamaican athlete has 14 gold medals, 4 silver medals, and 3 bronze medals from his international competitions. Blake has been tasked with being the world's fastest runner by 2022. Despite the fact that his age, 31, isn't on his side, his recent success is promising. Then we have Leonard Fournette. Speaking of Fournette, he made the list due to his weight. Fournette ran a 4.51 40-yard dash at 240 pounds. Fournette now weighs between 230 and 240 pounds and claims he's never been caught from behind in the open field. There's guys who ran 4.4 seconds or whatever else and they're getting caught from behind in a game. Football speed and track speed is a big difference, man, Fournette said, describing his blinding speed. In some ways, Bolt being the fastest person in the world at 207 pounds might not be as impressive as weighing nearly 40 pounds more and being weighed down by football pads. His 2017 speed of 22.05 miles per hour was the previous record in the NFL before Hill broke it. Fournette claims he used to be faster than that in college. He explained that it is all about getting his legs back under him. He further stated that he ran like 23 miles per hour in college, so to him, he is just trying to get his old speed back. The next guy on our list is Justin Gatlin. As Justin ran a 100-meter dash in 9.45 seconds to beat Usain Bolt's record, he will have been the fastest runner in the world in 2022. However, he was refused the designation due to allegations that he was aided by huge wind turbines. He achieved a new personal record in 2014 when he ran the 100-meter sprint in 9.74 seconds. Gatlin was banned from World Athletics in 2001 after a positive amphetamine screening. That was a big disappointment for him as it forced him to take a break from his career. When he returned in 2006, he was again suspended for doping in the same year. He returned to international athletics four years later when he stunned the world by winning the 2012 World Indoor Championships in the 60-meter dash. He also earned a bronze medal at the 2012 Summer Olympics. Next up, Maurice Green. Green was the fastest sprinter five times in his early career, collecting five Olympic medals and keeping the world record for the 100 meters at 9.79. He is also the 60-meter world record holder. Until 1999, he had a whole cup in his hand. He not only won the Seville World Champion gold, but also broke Donovan's record during his career. He held his place for six years before being beaten by Asafa Powell in 2005. When he tested positive in a drug test, his career came to an end. He was kicked out of the sport and was never to return. Nevertheless, he was one of the fastest runners in the world. Wrapping it up, we have Noah Lyles. So who is currently the fastest person in the world? As you've seen, there's a number of different ways to measure speed, but a strong contender for the title is Noah Lyles, an American sprinter born in Gainesville, Florida in 1997. His personal best are 9.88 seconds in the 100-meter dash and 19.65 seconds in the 200-meter race. His 100-meter time is exactly three-tenths of a second behind Bolt's world record. Remember, Lyles is just 21, and Bolt didn't set his record until days before his 23rd birthday. He had previously set the record at 9.69 seconds the year before, so Lyles will have more chances over the course of his career to potentially break Bolt's records and become the greatest sprinter of all time. Currently, Lyles is the 300-meter indoor world record holder with a time of 31 1.87. From football to sprinting, baseball to soccer, middle distance to long, we've looked at 10 of the top candidates for fastest person in the world, both now and all time. Did your favorite athlete make it to the list? Let me know in the comments section. That concludes today's video. If you found the video helpful, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to share the video with your friends and family. See you next time.